Okay, I think you guys are asking for a prism. So I'm going to go add uh, down here somewhere. There should be image, right? Where's the image? Right here, image, uh, whatever, reference from my desktop. I just took an image right now, a 10 something. Yeah, let's hope it's right. S2. Okay, so guys, look, I think, I think this is what you guys are saying. Okay, so we're talking about triangular over there. Okay. I've got this now, I've got my reference, I'm going to push that back. All right, thank you. Okay, so let's go with our friend cylinder again, okay? Uh, boom, 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 somewhere here there's a cylinder. Okay, so as you know, earlier this was at 20, right? 20, 24, and so on. So if I change this to 3, Simone, look, look what I get, right? This is kind of cool, this is what you want, all right? Okay, that's one prism, but I think, I think we're maybe thinking of uh, crystals, right? So let's try another method, okay? Let's go again. Let's go in here, Shift A. And this time I'm going to go to Sunder again. This time let's try octagonal shape, 8. Okay? So I'm trying to kind of replicate those crystals. I think you guys are thinking something like this. First off, Tab, get into Edit Mode. Get out of that. And then I'm just going to go to uh, Face, and I'm going to go to just like that. I'm going to scale this in, okay? S for scale, and it shooting outwards. Uh, moving this spider web out goes larger. Moving the spider web in makes it smaller. See, that's cool. So the next thing I'm going to do is extrude by pressing E out now. Okay. Now I'm going to try something new. Uh, you see how these? I'm going to go to one, which is which is uh, vertices, right? And I think there's a way to kind of merge these, uh, merge vertices to center. Oh, -ho! I love this app. <laughs> Okay, I'm geeking out here. Okay, no one else is geeking out with me. I know. Okay, so there it is. This is one example of a prism. Like we see a crystal, right? For example, did you see what I did? Right click, watch this again. Okay, I extruded this out, right? I can press S to scale it in, right? You can bring it in. Okay, so we've got a lot of points in here. Okay, thank you, thank you. The other one's recorded. I'll post it on YouTube soon. So here it is. Look, I scaled it in. But there's something really cool about this. As you know, you may want to make this into, look, look, see here? Merge vertices at center. Yeah, yeah, Camtasia, I see you, no problem. So this could be a potential um, a prism for you, right, or a crystal. So let's do one more, okay? We'll go add mesh, mesh cylinder. Let's do something cool here, okay? This one will go with, what if you did six sides? Hexagonal, right, hexagonal. So what you want to do, you can just... Like if you want to make some cool crystals and prisms and so on. So you did, I did the three, I did the eight. Now uh, this is the six, right? So tab, three for face, boom. E for extrude, right there. And then S to scale. So if you want, look, scale out or in, 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 in. So you got to be careful here. Spin around, move it up a bit, and press S again, and then bring it in, bring it in. So if I hold my mouse out here, watch, the spider web comes out here, gives me more leverage, see? So now I did a, I created a six side one, right? However, what I want to do is come to the face here and extrude out, uh, sorry, uh, scale out S. Ooh, that was cool, right? You see that? Oh yeah. So if you have a bunch of Ds now, this is going to look pretty cool. Watch, Shift D is duplicate, right? I'm going to press Y. I'm going to rotate with R, We like that. I'm going to press S. 0.8 makes it a little smaller right okay g for grab and then z okay there i mean i didn't do that properly but look how cool this looks now just offset it a bit right so now you got two crystals i know some of you are making crystals so i'll move this out now i'm going to duplicate this again shift d or you right click which is somewhere here duplicate yeah yeah right there right okay and then i'm going to go to on the y see it's green there i'm going to press y and I'm going to press R to rotate, and then just uh, rotate. Oh, I, sh I didn't move yet, sorry. Let's just move it first. Hold on. Move it. Oops. Did I not do uh, Shift D? Shift D. Y. There it is. I'm going to I'm going to press R for rotate, rotate it, and then S.5. Make it smaller. Oh, maybe too small. So I'll make it a little S again. Let me just make it a little bigger. Watch this. Whenever you guys are making things, please remember the concept of small, medium, large. I'm repeating this all the time, but I'm not seeing it. Okay, small, medium, large basically says not everything is even Steven, right? 
Let's avoid that method. Here, I feel sorry for all the Stevens out there. But here, something like that. See how nice that looks? Okay, is this okay for you guys? Hello, testing one, two. <laughs> Does this work? What do you guys think? Yeah? Okay, thank you. Should I stop here? Uh, what are you saying there? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, good. Let's go. And it's under five, five minutes, baby. Woohoo. All right, stop recording. See you in the next